thought Ohio in the back rooms was the worst that it could get, but oh boy, was I wrong. Because today I'm gonna be talking about backrooms level Detroit. This level is gross and horrible and just so strange that I can't believe I spent time making it. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Let's get into it, shall we? Also, this video is just for fun. Don't take it seriously. Just relax. So Backrooms Level Detroit is classified as a class 3 difficulty and is unsafe, unsecure, with no entities. At least that's nice. But the environment is where the actual danger of this level is, and you'll see why in this explanation. The level itself is taking place on an island, but it's not just a nice tropical island or a cool volcanic island. It's an island that's covered in trash. And I mean, the entire island is like a huge landfill. The whole thing's covered in it. This trashy place is thought to be around 100 miles total, and there's just so much stuff that you might find scattered on the ground here, and we'll get into some of it right now. When you spawn in on this level, you'll start on the outer ring of the island on the beach, if you can even call this place a beach. And it looks like one from real life. Except, of course, there's a ton of random stuff here. Trash, houses, bottles of drinks, shoes, animal skins. Literally anything that you could possibly think of is here on the beach. Under all of that stuff is actual real sand. And that's probably the only normal thing here. Outside of the beach area is the quote unquote ocean that surrounds the island. This ocean has a really strange effect where the water is actually thicker than regular water. It's almost like a big tub of jello. It makes a really squishy and sloshing sound when it waves and when it hits the shore. And that's pretty much all that's known about it. No one's tried to explore it because it's jello and it's weird and it's thick and gross and who would want to do that? So yeah, this beach area is where you spawn. And after you spawn in here, you'll have no other choice but to walk inland towards the center of the island. When you make the journey to the center of the island, you'll start seeing a random assortment of stuff that's all over the ground. Most of it is just garbage and old broken stuff, like a landfill, like I said earlier. But some of it could be useful. Like there might be a house or something that you could stay in. There could be a garage to stay in. There could be a freezer with food in it just laying there. And you could actually eat the food. Pretty much this level is just as random as you could possibly imagine. The labels on the trash here is a mix of real life brands like Coca-Cola and fast food trash and other things that aren't from reality and seem out of place. There's strange pill bottles everywhere, specifically laxative pills for some reason. There's tons of different brands of those. And there's also just random pieces of houses laying on top of the garbage everywhere. Like there's washers and dryers and sinks and doors and windows and just every kind of random household object is here. And they look like they were just torn right from a house from real life and left here. It makes no sense, I know, but that's what it is. There are also some weird animal skins that have been found laying in these trash piles that look like regular animals from real life, but they're flat and it's just the skin. Like, literally, there's deflated animals laying in the garbage. What am I doing with my life, guys? But those animal skins are the only signs of living things here, even though they're not living. But there's no backrooms entities or dangers like that that you have to worry about. So, I mean, that's good, right? Just you and a bunch of trash. As you can expect, since this level is covered in trash, it stinks pretty bad. But instead of smelling like normal garbage, it smells like wet, soggy carpet. Like if you walk into a flooded basement or something like that. The accounts of people who have been here say that it kind of smells like level zero, which might mean that it's connected to level zero somehow. No one knows for sure. The level also has a few weird effects that happen randomly, and it's about to get strange. The first effect is that the day and night cycle changes the entire layout of the garbage and debris on this island. 
it seems that this daytime lasts about 12 hours, and then the nighttime lasts for about 5 hours. And when it becomes nighttime for 5 hours, the garbage, bottles, trash, everything changes, and it moves around. And you won't be able to see this happen, unless you have a flashlight or something, because there's no actual light here, because it's nighttime. But once the sun comes up, everything will look different, and you won't know where you're at, because your surroundings will have changed completely. And that can really complicate you trying to exit this level. Now the next effect that happens is there's wildfires that pop up in the trash piles. These fires randomly start on their own and they'll spread as far as they can until the nighttime hits and the garbage teleports to a different spot and that puts out the fire. No one knows what causes the fires or how they happen or what they're doing there, but it's the back rooms, so this is the least of our concerns. The last weird effect that happens here is that if you touch stuff for long enough and if you hold on to it for too long, it'll just vanish out of your hands. <laughs> Presumably it'll teleport out of the level like some of the stuff does at nighttime. Or it could just teleport to a different spot. No one knows for sure, but it'll just vanish out of your hand. Now the time it takes for this to happen seems to change from item to item and person to person, but it mainly happens after just a few minutes of holding something, so if you find like a drink or something to eat, make sure you don't hold it for too long in your hands, or it could just be gone in a few minutes. So I mentioned earlier that there are full houses on this level, and there are. They normally look like a mid 1990s style house, and they all have the furniture and stuff like that inside of them still. But just like the rest of the level, these houses move around and teleport randomly through the night. So if you find one, you better stay inside of it. That way you can make sure you know where it's at when it teleports. To enter this level, you can fall into a dumpster on level 11 and you'll wake up on the beach here. And to exit the level, you have to find a house that I just talked about and you have to stay in it for two day night cycles without leaving and then you'll be sent to a random level. That's not too bad of a way to escape, but uh, it might be hard to get up to the house if you don't want to climb a trash pile. So yeah, that was Backrooms Level Detroit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, this was just based off of the Detroit meme that's kind of like the Ohio meme. I thought it was funny. Hope you did too. Hope you got a good giggle out of it. I did. I love making stuff like this, and I hope you enjoy watching it. I mean, it was really dumb, but you know. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. If you are still watching, comment Landfill Brugly so I know that you're a real one. And if I see your comment with that, I'll heart as many as I see. There's so many comments, so it's kind of hard to get to everybody. But I will try my best, I promise. Thank you so much for the support. And I love and appreciate all of you. Uh, make sure you tell somebody that you love and appreciate them because life is short and you don't have enough time. So yeah, with that said and done, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.